Strapping their helmets and putting on the pads, the Cal Poly football team ran onto the field for this year's first spring practice. At this point, head coach Tim Walsh does not know who will be taking snaps for the green and gold next fall, but says both Chris Brown and Dano Graves are starting strong. Chris and Dano both took five each. Uh, one was four for four with a run and the other was five for five. So nine out of nine and, and making the right decisions with the football and putting the ball in catchable positions. And the production even impressed Cal Poly's defensive transfer from the Pac-12. You looked at them executing, you know, they were very disciplined. I would say they looked better than, you know, WSU ever did on a first day of spring ball. So that was pretty impressive. Both quarterbacks say they spent the offseason focusing on film study and working with coaches. I met with him more this time than last year. I was uh, calling him consistently. We had more talks on the phone than last year, so I feel like it was a, a better connection. Cal Poly's biggest hurdles to knock over this spring are filling the holes on defense. There's some young players that are going to have to play and play meaningful downs for the first time in their career, and they don't have to be Sullivan Gross right away or Johnny Millard right away, but they got to be good, efficient players. But one player knows a thing or two about meaningful downs, even as a freshman. Um, it was like a pass play. And I got off the ball kind of fast, and so I got around the edge, you know, I was rushing the quarterback, and I look and I see Andrew Luck like right here in front of me. And I was kind of caught up in the moment, like, oh my gosh, that's Andrew Luck in front of me, you know? And then just got like clobbered by the tackle. Lisa Diaz, Mustang News.